Hi my friends, this is Arthas and today I want to talk about the Lokinox build. This is pretty much a Loki with the helmet ability of Equinox, which is the Rest and Rage. And this is a build to kill enemies and level up your weapons fast. So we want as much range as possible, a little bit of duration, no strength, because you don't really need that. So yeah, I trained my decoy for the Rest and Rage. 34 seconds of duration, that's most than, more than enough to kill everyone around. 13 minute radius, that is just okay. This is pretty much the build. If you want to change anything, well, that's up to you. What could be interesting is the common frenzy augment, but uh, I don't really like using it. Also, the arcane is optional, maglev is optional. But the natural talent and stuff, I think that's really useful. You could also put the, the other one that increases the um, casting speed. I think it's speed drift, is it? Yes, you could also put in the place of the maglev. I just use it for some more speed. Now our focus is going to be on putting everyone to sleep and then killing everyone. You should always try to get the headshots if you have a weaker weapon. If not, just kill everyone. And you're going to be getting that easy XP. I'm going to level up this Lado Vandal. And I'm just going to show you. Also, if you have one, and you should. Always take the Sphere Cavat as it can buff you for the bonus affinity. I'm going for a Darrow, the Exterminate. One of the best times I could pull out was around 3.5 three minutes for leveling a weapon from 0 to 30. But results may vary and the average time is gonna be around 5 minutes. So let's just go using generic and this Magus Anomaly is also optional. I just happened to, to be on the plot. Yeah. This is, this is pretty much what we're really gonna do. Put everyone to sleep, kill everyone. Recast your Invisibility and watch so you don't kill enemies that are not sleeping. So you don't lose your your bonus. Also having a mod for any protection on the radar can be a good thing. I have the animal instinct on the combat, but you can further increase it with enemy radar and there's also a drift, if I'm not wrong, that increases the uh, enemy detection. Then you just go, killing enemies. If they wake up, just recast it and you'll be good. They, all, they take, um, let's say, an extra second to wake up after they actually get up. If they fall, yeah. just pay attention, don't kill anyone that's not sleeping, good. I said it in the, more towards the beginning that this will work better with stronger weapons. Bomber just that without the XP bonuses, and that is because you can deal around 50% of the enemy's health without him waking up. So if your weapon is not strong enough, you can always make it a little better with some arcanes, like for the melee's the arcane fury, for secondary the awakening, with the increase your damage with the as you reload and for primaries I don't actually remember the exact aim but I know there is one so see he's down but if I damage him further he's gonna get up but as he gets up 
can recast. It has we have time to recast it without him. Oh, but this one actually has. How can I say it? He's aware. Here. No detection from enemy sensors. Just do everyone. We are three minutes in, and it's level twenty-four. Save the heavy units for when you have the 500% buff, as they give you the most speed. Now that I have finished my ladder, I'm gonna pull out the arch gun and start leveling it. There comes the satellites. That is also a problem. Just have to wait a little bit, blow up the crystals, and let them no go back, back to sleep, or let your cat kill them. It will also work. Mission is already complete, but we still have some enemy now. Let's see, level 19, 4 of us. Let's see if we have any enemies on the way. Like it, I'm just not gonna wait for the rest of them to wake up. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Six minutes, one weapon max, and the other one was level 20. Might not be the best metal up leveling, but I just really enjoy it because I don't really like to stay a lot of time on Hydron or ESO, and depending on pretty much depending on other people. So yeah, that's pretty much it, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one, bye bye!